And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a smooth speed up effect. You can speed up videos easily, but the basic effect is not that smooth. Let me just press C for the cut tool and I create a middle clip that I want to speed up. Make sure it's selected, you can right click on it and you will find the speed and duration right there. But the short key for that is Ctrl R. So just select your clip, then press Ctrl R and it should pop up. Let's just say we want to have it three times the speed. In this case, you must set it to 300%. Check this box right here for ripple edit if you don't want to have gaps. So if you speed up your video, everything that comes after it will be repositioned accordingly. If you don't check it, you've got this gap. Let me press Ctrl Z, I'll press Ctrl R again, 300 and I check the box and now the gap is gone. So this is the basic effect and it speeds it up, but it's kind of like a jump from 100% time to 300 and I'm back to 100. But we can make that smoother. Let me reposition this line so that we can see video channel one a little bit bigger. And now I click on the top left corner of my second element with the right click. We're going to use the function time remapping and it should by default only have the speed to select. Just click on it. And now we can use the pen tool to create kind of like an anchor point on this line. Let us start with a ramp up on the left hand side. So after you've created the anchor point, use your cursor tool and drag up this line. It's a good idea to zoom in a little bit. Just hold Alt and use the mouse wheel to zoom. And we can kind of like split this anchor point into two, the starting point and the end point. Let me pull the end point a little bit to the right. And now I go to the line to the right of it and drag it upwards until I've arrived at around 300%. And you can see the split anchor point on the left, it remains at 100 and this gives us a ramp. You will have to reposition the elements that come after it. And now we've got a much smoother speed up effect thanks to this ramping. If we want to create a ramp down at the end, it's a little bit more tricky, but it's basically the same process. So use the pen tool first, create an anchor point, then split this anchor point into start and end. And you need to use the line to the right hand side and drag it down to 100. But in this case, make sure that you can see start and end point in this element or you will cut off parts of a video clip and that creates a little bit of a jump in the footage. You don't want to have that. Let me show you what that looks like. So I make this gap a little bit too big on purpose. And that gives us a nasty jump. So always make sure that you can see start and end point in this element to have a good transition after this ramping down. But this is the process of creating a smooth speed up effect using this ramping. I hope this video is helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.